blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures.
Today we remember the end of World War I on the 11th of the 11th, 1918, at 11 o'clock. There was so much suffering, fighting, horrors, sacrifice and injustice. Even on the last day, 11,000 people died. But we also remember today those who've lost their lives in other wars and conflicts. Those who've become injured mentally and physically too through these events those who are still living in wars and conflicts. So much sadness and suffering, such large numbers of people, it can feel overwhelming. Let's look in the Bible at what Jesus thinks about people who are suffering. Mark 5, 24 to 34 says this, And he went with him, and a great crowd followed him and thronged about him. And there was a woman who had had discharge of blood for 12 years and who'd suffered much under many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was no better, but rather grew worse. She had heard the reports about Jesus, and came up behind him in the crowd, and touched his garment. For she said, If I touch even his garments, I will be made well. And immediately the flow of blood dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. And Jesus, perceiving himself, that power had gone out from him, immediately turned about in the crowd and said, Who touched my garments? And his disciples said to him, You see the crowd pressing around you, and yet you say, Who touched me? And he looked around to see what had done it. But the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came in fear and trembling and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her daughter, Your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. In my work as a nurse, I see ladies today suffering from heavy bleeding. It's very common. It can cause anemia, tiredness and breathlessness. It can be very difficult to live with. But today we have products and medication and good hygiene facilities. This woman did not have that. She had been bleeding for 12 years. So she must have been anemic, breathless, and extremely tired. In that culture, she was classed as unclean. She'd spent everything she'd had. She was desperate. She was one in a vast crowd. And yet Jesus stopped, saw her, healed her, gave her eye contact, gave her value, and called her daughter. In the suffering and mess around us and in our history, Jesus' message is clear. He is with people who are suffering. He knows suffering. He has the fantastic ability to see each individual in the vastness of the many. After all, he saw the woman in the crowd. You know, Jesus knew also what it was like to be treated unjustly, to flee as a refugee from conflict, be misunderstood, to suffer and to die. In my readings this week from Lectio 24-7, it says this, God is not distant or detached from pain and suffering that people experience. Jesus has compassion on those who suffer 
and he suffers with them. In fact, the word com passion literally means with suffering. You know, Jesus died for us and suffers with us. We are not alone. He's the God who is always faithful, always loving, always strong. In Psalm 46 verse 1, it says that God is your ever-present help in times of trouble. In Hebrews 13 5, it says that God will never leave you or forsake you. So as we remember those who have suffered and are suffering now, remember that Jesus, you are the God of compassion and love, who sees the individual, loves and values each one.
Lord, blessed be your name. God, you give.